everybody and welcome back to another Theories and Thoughts. It's been a while but now it's time to dive into yet another theory. I'm going to reference the Starshine Legacy games a lot in this video and if you don't know what those are you should check out my Star Stable background video I've done. Link to that one should be on the screen now. Let's start with a little story. In Starshine Legacy, episode 3, when Anne is going to save Concord from Pandoria, she passes a wall with 8 runes. Let's go through them all a bit quickly. The first rune shows a people that seems to be horses combined with humans, and their planet which exists somewhere in the galaxy. The second rune shows a giant octopus-like monster attacking the horse people's planet. The third rune shows the horse people being victorious and defeats the monster. The fourth rune shows how the monster is locked behind bars. The fifth rune shows the horse people transporting away the monster in one of their starships. The sixth rune shows that something's gone wrong on the ship and that they are close to a planet we are well known with. The seventh rune shows the monster at the bottom of an ocean and the horse people are giving something to a rider and its horse. The eighth and last rune shows how the monster has escaped but is fought back by four riders on their horses with the power of sun, moon, lightning and star. I guess you can all guess who the monster is. That's right, it's Garnok. These runes shows the beginning of the Soul Riders and basically where the whole story of Starshine Legacy and Star Stable Online started. Frip were also on the ship when it crashed on Jorvik. He actually explains it himself pretty good here in Starshine Legacy episode 4. So now we know where Garnok came from and why he is at the bottom of the ocean. Or is he? A couple of years ago I read a theory on someone's blog and I am so sorry I have forgotten your name and I forgot to save the blog post. I feel so professional right now. <laughs> I'm not saving my sources correctly. Anyhow this person re receives all the credit for this theory. Uh, this person discussed that Garnok was perhaps not laying on the bottom of the ocean, but actually at the bottom of Devil's Gap in the middle of Harvest Counties. In Starshine Legacy Episode 4, when Alex is racing against Katya at Devil's Gap, you can see enormous tentacles rise up from the deep, trying to make Alex loose. It has to be Garnok since we don't know any other creature in this universe with tentacles. But if he is at the bottom of the ocean, how can his tentacles appear here? If we go by this theory, the answer is because the ship is down there somewhere, and that's why he can reach up to the top with his tentacles. Some of you may be thinking, but hey, Devil's Gap is far from the ocean, and Fripp even says that's where he crashed. How do we explain that? With the power of nature. The earth is constantly changing, and the water levels are completely different today than they were a thousand years ago. It's very possible that Devil's Gap actually was at the bottom of the ocean when the ship crashed outside of Jorvik, and throughout the years the water level has slowly sunken and revealed more land to the island we know today. Which is how the ship now is in Devil's Gap, and why Garnus tentacles reach up during the race. This would explain why Devil's Gap is still closed for us. I mean, it's nothing new with SSO when it comes to open up an area, but leave a part still closed. But this would actually explain why it's closed, and why everyone in Jarlaheim is so terrified of it and never speaks about it. Or maybe the ship is actually still out on the bottom of the ocean, somewhere, 
and the tentacles appearing at Alex and Katja's race is simply tentacles Garnok materialized with the help of his magic, the same way his generals are walking on Jorvik, as Fripp explains here. I, however, really like the theory about Garnok being in Devil's Gap, and I believe it could work. Uh, what do you think? Do you agree with this theory, or do you think he's still in the ocean? Let me know in the comments. This was actually everything I had about this theory, and hopefully more of you know who Garnok is now after this video. After this theory, I don't really have anything prepared for the next theories and thoughts video. So, if you could comment something you would like me to talk about in the next video, please do, and I can have a look at the subject and see if I can dig out any information about it. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!